welcome back to my channel. My name is Hooja and today we are creating faux bangs, faux bun with braiding hair and I'm really excited about this just because it's such a cute hairstyle. It's really not hard to do and it's less than five dollars. Five dollars for this. For this. So I'm just gonna explain a little bit and then we can jump right into the video. You can choose any hair color that you want for your bangs and your bun just because the back of your head is the only thing that's gonna be shown. So I definitely just wanted to let y'all know that. Honestly, like this was this is one of my favorite hairstyles, like to be honest. It's very easy to do, it's very affordable. You really only need a couple tools and I'll definitely tell you as the video goes on. If you haven't done this before, you should definitely try it. You do any color you want. Like you could literally do any color. So it's just like this hairstyle is cute as shit. But anyways, let's get into the video. This is Essence Hair. I'm pretty sure it was under $5. I'm pretty sure it was 99 cents. But we are going to see how this is going to work out because I'm like, Ooh, <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. So we are just going to start. So I actually have Konecalon hair in F1B 30. So it's kind of like a highlighted color. But with this hairstyle, it's not truly going to show my dark hair. My hair is actually like washed, but it's dry. So, I mean, you can do this a number of ways just because your hair is not really gonna be shown besides the back and maybe the sides. Here is the hair. I'm actually going to combine two packs because I actually want it to be like a pretty thick bun. It's gonna combine them into two. All I gotta do is take a rubber band Loop it through and boom. And then all I'm gonna do is tie a knot. Okay, so now it's ready. Okay, boys. So I'm just going to be using my Eco Styler. I'm actually running out, so I have other gels, but you know. Um, but this is the black caster and flaxseed oil, and I'm just gonna lay my hair down. And I'm also going to refresh my hair. I'm trying to get my makeup wet um, just so that it'll kind of smooth a lot better. I mean, you literally don't have to do your edges for this style just because you are covering it up with the bangs, which is a good thing. So, I mean, like, if you suck at doing edges or it's just really hard for you to do, this hairstyle is great. So all I'm doing is trying to get my hair as smooth as possible, brushing everything forward. Try and make it as smooth as you can back there. Refresh it if you need to. <laughs> so I really like to use Got To Be's Styling Spiking Glue as edge control now. I don't know. I mean, I have tried other edge controls, but this, like, my edges don't move. So usually it's pretty um, thick, so I like to warm it up with my hand so that it doesn't really come out white, per se. I'm just warming that up so I can get ready so I can put it on my edges. And this really just helps me like slick everything down a lot better. Um, I mean, you don't have to put anything on your edges but I will just because I really want this to lay down slick down is like the longest part of this I'm just going to brush all of that up and get it in a place oh yeah we starting to look like something a milk duck. so now that we have our hair ready all we are going to do, well, since mine is like super puffy, I should braid it so that I can place it in a top knot. But you can do whatever you can to make your bun as small as possible on your head. So let's see if I can like twist it. 
that'll take up less of my time. Yep, gonna take up less of my time. So what you're gonna do is take a rubber band and just make a small bun and just secure it. I mean, our bun is already gonna be big. <laughs> what we are going to do is take the rubber band ponytail holder and wrap it around our bun so all you got to do so it was already placed in two sections right you're gonna flip one back and you're also going to make your bangs right now so what we're gonna do is take a small section of the hair toss this one back so now we are left with just this part um just this small section for our bang so i'm actually kind of going to test this out i always do this every single time but i definitely need to test it um i don't know if this is enough because you want to have enough to have like a side bang side bang action Make sure you have scissors for this, people. I should have said this before. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you definitely want to have enough to have longer bangs. And then you want to have enough to have mid bangs, middle bangs. Duh. That's the whole point of this. But um, you don't want to make them too thick because usually, like, you want to make sure that you can see through the bangs. I'm actually going to grab just a little bit more on the safe side so probably like this much people it seems like it might be a lot but you don't want to like risk it and not have enough so depending on where you want your side bangs say you wanted them to be like here and your bangs are here then it kind of frame your face to here with the side bangs so if you want longer side bangs here's what i'm about to show you so you're going to be doing it essentially the same way it just depends on how far you are holding your hair. So if you want your hair to be here, if you want your bangs to be here and you want your side bangs to kinda do this little side action, this is where you would hold it. So you're just taking your hair, pulling it up, measuring it to where you want it. That's as easy as it gets so because I want my side bangs to be a lot longer I'm actually going to measure it out um but I'm also not going to pull back as much so I actually do want my side bangs to be here just like a longer side action you know so that's where I'm actually going to pin my hair so if you wanted to pin it shorter, you can. You're gonna take a bobby pin and you are going to eh, pin your hair right next to your ponytail. Boom. So that is exactly where I want my bangs to be. Just like that, easy as that. So, I mean, if you wanted, you could pin it to where I had it and just chop these a little, just chop them. But, I mean, if you do want shorter bangs, all you have to do is legit pull it back farther. I hope that explained it. This is gonna be a big ass bun. I really hope that you guys, um, we're able to follow that bang part along because it's really the essential of this entire video okay <laughs> making the bang so with the hair that we already clipped back okay um we are going to create our bangs so you're going to take a rat tail actually these are pretty thick So I actually lost my hair scissors, but I have regular scissors. Doesn't matter which one you use. <laughs> but um, I want 
maybe this much as my side bang. And then the rest can be the middle bang. So I didn't really measure that out. I just kind of pulled hair. What we are going to do is sometimes I like to cut longer than I need to cut just because what if I do want the bangs longer and then I mess some stuff up like that so so I'm actually gonna start longer and I'm literally just gonna cut straight across So I am gonna cut it just a little bit more. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> this is freaking cute. Okay, so now we are actually going to fray the bangs a little. I don't even think that's what it's called. But, um, it's just so that it kind of gives it more of a natural look. Now we are going to frame to our face. <laughs> I'm definitely going to show some of my new subscribers how I frame to my face. So what you want to do is kind of keep your scissors at a like a diagonal. Um, but what you want to do is have shorter pieces closer to your face and then longer pieces towards the end of your face. So all I'm doing is, hmm, don't want to start at my nose. Good way to, for measure, for measure. Starting at your nose and just diagonally cutting down. Okay, so you saw a little bit. So I'm just going to cut a little bit more. Framing towards my face and that's it I actually look kind of perfect and it's kind of weird so I'm gonna make sure that I don't cut off as much on this side because it actually just looks like I need to just cut off this much and not that part because <laughs> this side looks pretty even if I do it on that side so now doing this side is really hard to do and I also have big scissors you're gonna be doing the same thing and just cutting and framing towards your face. So start at your nose. Cutting just a little bit off. And voila, you got your bangs, girl. All right, so with the hair that we actually pinned, we are going to pin that back again. Make sure that it's secure first off from both ends. So if you secured it, through one end, just make sure that you secure it on the other so that it's secured on both sides. So you wanna have a bobby pin going this way and a bobby pin going that way so that it secures both sides for you. You actually do need a bunch of bobby pins for this style. <sighs> Cause baby, what we about to do is gonna be crazy. And the fact that I took this much is gonna be even crazier because you actually should only need one pack, but I really did want this bun to be thick. So uh, it's about to be thick. So what we're going to do, actually like just try and like tuck this somehow because you're really not gonna see it. So just try and tuck this um, or wrap it around your baby bun. This is like a part of your base. It really doesn't matter just as long as it's secured. So here is the real steps. We are going to take a decent chunk. And a lot of people either twist one or they actually split it into two and twist it. Or some people actually braid it. So it just depends on what type of bun that you want. I have three sections, but that's literally just me um, about to wrap the rest of this hair. But I'm actually going to twist this. We are going to wrap this very tight around the base and just around the bun in general, just because you want it to look a certain way. 
So even if you have little flyaways, it's okay. Now we are just going to bobby pin the bun and the end. And then we are just going to keep wrapping. So it's great that I did it super tight. That way we have more hair to fit in our bun. And I actually really wanted the bun to be big. And now that we are kind of getting towards like the outer part of our bun, we wanna make sure that it's super neat. The higher you go with your bun, the better it'll look. So let's just keep on wrapping. You can wrap any way you want. Do not bobby pin it towards the base though because you don't wanna see any flyaways around the bottom. So try and keep them towards the middle or towards the top. And you'll be set. So our bun is staying, okay? And if you have little flyaways, we'll definitely take care of that. And now, we are on our last section. You might not have as many as I did because I actually did two packs of hair and not one. So I think I'm actually gonna take this um, going this way instead of going back and around just because I wanted to kind of lay differently. So um, I'm actually gonna wrap this one around the base to make it higher. And then I'm going to twist this as much as I can. And I'm actually going to fold it inside one of the rolls. <laughs> because we don't want any of our hair to be showing through. So I'm going to find a place to stick it. And then I'm going to bobby pin it right after. And I know that's kind of hard to understand, but we don't want any flyaways when we're doing this. If you do, like I have one right here, you can either cut it or you can mold it, but I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs> Um, usually when I do top knots in general, I really just go with the first shape that I work with. And I mean, there's no really wrong way to do this. It's just your preference on what you wanna do. So now the last part of the tutorial would be to flat iron your bangs. So the lowest setting my flat iron goes to is 140. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm just going to Flat iron piece by piece. Ooh. Just making sure that this doesn't burn. No burning! Woo woo! Okay. we are finished people but this is the finished look um it was relatively simple so if you have little flyaways like i do you can cut them out if you want to set your back of your head you can use got to be spray this is what it looks like it's usually six to eight dollars depending on where you are this was basically it you don't need that many tools all you need is bobby pins scissors hair one pack or two depending on how thick you want your bun to be um i used two but i know for sure that it was going to be cute with one pack so i really hope that if you try this that it works out for you but i hope you enjoyed the video i will be back so like, comment, share, and subscribe. This styling was actually very fun to do. Um, this by far is like one of my favorite hairstyles I've ever done. Like ever done.